Senator from Idaho. Mr. President, uh, I want to associate myself uh, with remarks uh, from uh, my distinguished colleague and uh, close personal friend, Senator Crapo, and join him in uh, urging our fellow senators to uh, quickly uh, confirm Judge Nye. Uh, as pointed out uh, by Senator Crapo, that uh, this will be the first district judge uh, who is confirmed by this Congress. And so it should be an honor uh, for Judge Nye, and I'm sure he uh, views it that way. Uh, this has been literally years in the making. Uh, as uh, Senator Crapo pointed out, uh, we have only one active federal judge right now, and he is handling what is essentially a, a three-judge load. Uh, some time ago when this uh, vacancy occurred, uh, Senator Crapo and I start, went to work on this. Most Americans don't understand how this works, but. To, to become a United States District Judge, it takes uh, essentially the concurrence of three people. That is the President of the United States and the two uh, senators from that particular state, be they two Republicans, two Democrats, or one of each, because we have what's called a blue slip process where any one of the three uh, can uh, and do uh, object to a person and then that person will not be uh, permitted to go forward. In this particular case, uh, we negotiated with the uh, Obama White House for literally months and months that turned into years. And uh, we uh, acted, I believe, in good faith on both sides, uh, trying to find a person who would be the right fit for Idaho. And we, again, literally vetted uh, well over 50 individuals uh, for this position. And for one reason or another, uh, we were unable to, uh, to get any of those across the finish line. Finally, we uh, settled on Judge Nye, and I shouldn't say settled on him. Uh, he had not uh, uh, really applied, and uh, after going through the, the 50 that we vetted and, and really not uh, getting where we wanted to be, uh, we sought out uh, Judge Nye and talked with him about it and uh, went forward on that basis. Uh, the White House uh, came along. And before uh, President Obama left office, he nominated, uh, pursuant to mine and Senator Crapo's request, uh, Judge Nye. Unfortunately, that was just about the time uh, we uh, ran out of time processing judges. And so uh, the election came and went. Uh, Senator, or excuse me, President Trump was, con uh, was uh, inaugurated, and we started all over again. And I want to personally thank the Wh uh, White House for very quickly uh, renominating uh, Judge Nye for this position, again at the request of myself uh, and uh, Senator Crapo. Uh, too many states uh, have a shortage of judges, and there is a, uh, a movement afoot right now to attempt to uh, boost the federal uh, judgeship load, which is, uh, which is in bad need. For instance, in the last seven surveys that the uh, uh, that the Judicial Conference has undertaken, they recommended that Idaho get a third judge. Senator, Senator Crapo and my predecessor before me, and I think even Senator Crapo's predecessor before him, have also been pushing for this third judge, and we're going to continue to do that. And I'm seeing some uh, uh, green sprouts that perhaps uh, will be moving something in that direction. In any event, yesterday we had uh, the vote on uh, the uh, moving forward on his nomination, and that vote was 97 to 0, which uh, certainly is a testament to, to Judge Nye himself. And I would uh, urge uh, our fellow senators, when we get to this vote, we'll either, which will either be later today or uh, uh, midday tomorrow, uh, to proceed with the same kind of vote. It, uh, it was a bipartisan vote on cloture. We hope it will remain a bipartisan, uh, a bipartisan vote uh, as we move for, uh, forward on his confirmation. And uh, with that, uh, I want to thank uh, Senator Grassley, uh, who's obviously pressed by everyone who has a vacancy, uh, Senator McConnell, who has lots and lots of things on his mind these days and, uh, and is struggling uh, with uh, uh, challenges that uh, come at him from all directions uh, for choosing uh, Judge Nye at our constant and gentle urging over the uh, recent months and years to move him uh, to the front of the line. I want to personally thank uh, uh, Senator McConnell uh, for doing that. And of course, I want to thank my distinguished colleague for his work on the Judiciary Committee of uh, moving it uh, through the Judiciary Committee. Uh, I think that uh, 
Judge Nye will be a person that will make us all proud. Uh, certainly, we're going to be uh, uh, very happy to have uh, this judgeship uh, filled in Idaho, and particularly with someone of the quality uh, of Judge Nye. And uh, with that, uh, Mr. President, I yield the floor.